Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we've got a uh, small indoor project. Uh, it's something you could apply if you were doing something like a, uh, a car garage, uh, a large banquet area, um, something even like a auditorium or, uh, or school auditorium. It's about that size. No targets were used. Uh, if this is a project that you are in the process of planning or have done, uh, this will give you an idea just how easy the scene software will put it all together for you. So um, it's been downloaded off the SD card after the scanner was finished. And uh, we're going to just simply go into our pre-processing button here, which is uh, down here to the left of the center of our screen for process scans. And we'll choose the top folder, which is a cluster and go to the top right hand corner for configure pre-processing so our processing is going to involve putting these scans together uh, we can uh, for expediency's sake here we will colorize the scans that means that if the scanner when you were using it uh, if your camera was on uh, it will use the photographs and apply them to the scans and colorize the point cloud uh, we can go down here to the bottom and the automatic registration we choose that box and the default registration method is top view and cloud to cloud what that's going to do is it's going to as the software looks at each scan it will rotate it looking for walls and uh, furniture and vehicles and whatnot uh, and it'll place them automatically together from a top view the once that's done it will go to cloud to cloud registration will looks for common XYZ points and in essence, tighten that uh, fit up and get your uh, accuracy to be to be higher. So we've made our choices here. We're not using any targets. We're doing an automatic registration, top view cloud to cloud. And we've gone ahead and chosen to colorize our scans during this process. Not something we have to do. But we will this time and then start processing up here on the right hand corner. And it should take no more than about 10 minutes. As we can see, the scans have come together. We will just uh, check on our accuracy here with our left click in the scan manager. Our tensions are at 1.5 millimeters. We can go through the different locations, the different spots here that they've got as uh, cluster scan locations. All of your information is in this pop-up box. Now, in order to take a look at our project, there's a couple ways to do it. We can right-click on the top scans folder into view. And uh, to see all the different scans, we'll choose correspondence view. It's going to ask if the folder, if the scans should be loaded, which is yes. And as you can see on the left side, each of these scans will build its own blue box. And when it's finished, the scan on the right will be open. So as you can see, uh, our six scans took up not the entire project room, uh, but we have a little over half here. And this is our point cloud view and correspondence view. So you can see each of the colors represents the area of each of the scans that have been covered. If we want to take a look at this in regular 3D, we'll go to the 3D view. There was no color used. The camera was not used during the scan project. So we're seeing what looks like black and white. It's just the actual laser point contacts. And a third way to take a look at this is choose one of our scans. You see which location it is here. And use your left mouse key to double click and open it in what's called a quick view and it will enable us to take a look at everything that the scanner sees from the position that it's in in that particular scan in this case number one and because our uh, project has been registered everything we can now uh, measure with it 
first thing I'd like to do is just right click and lock the scan manager. Now, if we uh, go into our explore button here, we're taking a look at the project. We can go to measure points. Anything in the field of view here can be measured. We can go from the wall to this column. Now we can go into the measure object over here on our tree, double click that. We can get an overall measurement, horizontal, vertical. You can see all kinds of different things that uh, uh, were measured with those two clicks. Now we can also, if you're doing any measuring this way, it's a good idea to actually double check to make sure that you've made contact with each uh, of your points where you wanted to. So in this uh, idea here, we go to our rectangular selector and just drag across this portion of the scan where we did our measurement. Right click, go to view, 3D view. This will allow us to just take the section that we just chose, drop a center point, and take a better look at the locations of each of the points that we began our measurement with, just to make certain that we didn't choose something that was slightly behind or an object was in front of it that we grabbed. And uh, that's a way to double check your measurement. There's some basic information in measuring in 2D. We can also look at a single scan in 3D. And instead of the entire project in 3D, we've got just this location. And once again, we can go in and measure in the point cloud 3D measure between two points and even three points. We can go into our measure object, give us our horizontal and vertical. Double check where our locations are. And there's a 2D and 3D measuring, registering an inside uh, inside building scan without targets. Good luck with your project. Let us know if there's anything we can help you with specifically.